Hey there, John Morris here, johnmorrisonline.com. Welcome back to another episode of The John Morris Show. This one, we're going to hit sort of a code-heavy tutorial. I'm going to be talking about arrays, and we're going to be talking about some different ways you can sort of manipulate uh, arrays by inserting and removing different elements from different spots in, in an array. So specifically, we're going to talk about adding and removing elements to the, both the beginning and the end of an array. I'm going to talk you through how to get multiple elements, whether it's two, three, four, however many you want from the end of an array. I'll show you how to remove elements from the end of array and, and deal with what's left. You'll be able to remove specific elements from an array and also insert elements anywhere you want inside of an array. So we're going to cover all of that inside of this tutorial. Also, if you're looking for the source code, all my source code I make available to my Patreon supporters. So you can learn more about that at johnmorrisonline.com slash Patreon. You'll not only get this source code, you get source code for a bunch of past tutorials that I've done. Plus, you get access to all of my current and future courses, including my PHP course, login script, object-oriented programming, uh, WordPress, Upwork, all that stuff. You get access to all of that. So if you, again, if you want to learn more about that, you can head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash Patreon. A little setup here. I've got a, a helper function I'm using. This is simply for tutorial purposes. Essentially what it does is it helps to create a nice out uh, a title for each section that we're going to be going through here and then it prints out the the array using pre tag so it's a little bit easier to read so this underscore p function here uh, is just a helper function and then i've set up our, our our original array here the name of the variable is array and we're using the array function to create an indexed array with the elements which are the words one two and three so a pretty simple array, and then I've output that uh, right off the bat so we can see what that is. Okay, so that's our setup. With that said, let's go ahead and get into it. And the first thing that we're going to do here is we're going to add elements to the end of an array, and we're going to use array push in order to do this. And so array push as the first parameter takes our array, our original array, and then it takes uh, basically an unlimited number of parameters that are the elements you want to add to the end of the array. So I'm going to use the word four and the word five. So what this should do is push the elements four and five onto the end of our array. And so if I do underscore P, I do array and I'll give it a title of array push. And so now we should have a, an array with five elements in it. And those elements are one, two, three, four, five. The words one, two, three, four, five. So pretty straightforward, just adds those elements right on to the end. Now let's say maybe you want to add elements to the beginning of an array. So for that, we need the the function array unshift and it's pretty similar to array push it, it takes the ar array that we want to add elements to and again it takes an sort of unlimited number of parameters after that that are the elements you want to add to the beginning of the array so i'll do my output here and we'll do again we're going to pass in the array and we'll do a title of three Array unshift. All right, if we take a look at that, now I have a new array and I've got a total of six elements and I've added the word zero to the beginning. So it's zero, one, two, three, four, five. And you'll notice all of these are re indexed when we do this. So when you add something to the end, that now becomes the, the first element, it's re indexed. And so uh, that's something to pay attention to. Also, you'll notice with these so far, these are changing the original array. They're not creating a new array. So I'm not setting the function equal to a variable and then printing out the variable. These are actually changing the original array. So whenever I output these, I'm outputting the original array. So again, that's something to keep in mind. Some of these functions we're going to talk about edit the original array. Some of them create a new array. So you got to pay attention to that. All right, so that's uh, adding elements to the beginning and the end of the array. Now let's say we want to remove an element from the end of an array. So for this, we need array pop. So we're going to do array underscore pop. 
and we're going to simply pass in our array variable. We don't need to pass any other parameters in. Do our output here. We'll give that a name array pop. And that should pop, uh, pop off the last element, which was the word five. And if we take a look, that word five is gone. We now only have five elements in this array. So that's how you get rid of one on the end. And then we, if we want to get rid of one on the beginning, we're going to use the function array shift. And again, simply pass in our array. And we'll do a title of array shift. Close enough. I know I misspelled that, but we'll keep moving. All right, so that what that did is it popped off the zero that we had added before, the word zero from the beginning. So now we're down to an array with four elements, one, two, three, four, and you see it keeps re-indexing that. And again, all of these are editing the original array. So when we do our output, we're outputting that original array. Now, by the way, real quick before I go any further, if you know PHP, obviously if you're you're here watching this, PHP is something that you're working through, trying to learn, want to master, and so forth. And so if you're really wanting to to master it as quickly as possible, let let me recommend to you my full PHP course at johnmorrisonline.com slash PHP. And what makes this PHP course unique, in my opinion, from all of the other ones that are out there, is that we go beyond learning just what to type. And I, I've met a lot of developers who have this problem, who've taken courses and it feels great while you're learning it because you're creating a bunch of projects and so forth. But when that's all sort of done and it's time to sit down in front of your text editor, editor and actually build something, you sort, sort of still feel a little lost and you find yourself having to go back to these tutorials and having to look things up uh, and, and have it go through it step by step and so forth. And that is a symptom of just learning what to type. And so I go to great lengths to go beyond that and explain the why behind what you're doing. So you actually learn how to program and, and learn programming concepts, not just what to type in a very limited and specific uh, context. So anyway, if you want to learn more about that, you can head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash php. Uh, and I, I really believe that'll help you to, to master this even faster. All right, with that out of the way, let me go into the next one, which is how to remove an element uh, or how to get multiple elements from the end of an array. And so for this, we're going to use array slice. And array slice is a really sort of handy uh, function that we can do here. Now, array slice, we are creating a new array. So our original array is not going to be changed. We're going to create a new array. And that's what array slice gives us back. And so then we're going to output that. So we're, I'm just going to call the, the name of this new array last two. We're going to set that equal to array underscore slice. We're going to pass in our original array. And then the second parameter we're going to set to negative two. So if we take a look at array slice, the second parameter is offset. And so essentially what this is going to do is uh, because we've set this offset to negative two, you can see here, if offset is negative, the sequence will start that far from the end of the array. And so essentially what this is going to give us is this is going to get the last two elements off of the end of the array. So if we come over here and we output this, and we do last two, and we'll do a title of We'll do array slice number one because we're going to walk through a couple of these. All right, so if we if we reload that, what we end up with down here is you can see up here our last two elements were the words three and four. What array slice with that negative two in the offset gives us is these last two elements. If I change this to say negative three, and we refresh this. Now what we get is the last three elements, okay? So that allows us to just specify a number here of whatever, however many of the elements we want off the end of that here, we can, we can do that here. Now this is taking those elements off the end and returning that to us. So we're actually getting the last two or three or however many elements. Sometimes you may want to pop off those and then work with what's left. And so we're still going to use array slice for that, but we got to do a little 
uh, we have to do it a little different. So first off, we're going to get the length of the, to the total length of the array. So however many elements are in the array. We're going to use count to do that. We're going to pass in our array. So that gives us the total length, how many elements are uh, in the array. And then we're going to create a slice using array underscore slice. And we're going to pass in our original array. We're going to pass the offset is zero. So we're going to start at the beginning. And then we're going to do length that we just got from the count method minus however many uh, elements we want to pop off the end. So in this case, we'll do two. Okay, so our original array was four elements. So if we pop two off the end, that's going to give us only two left, which is the first two. And so if I do uh, output slice and we'll do uh, seven array slice number two. All right, so what we should get is just the first two elements in this our, our original array. And you can see that that's what we get. Our original array was one, two, three, four. And now what we have is one, two. Okay, so if I do this minus one, that should pop off just the last element and give us what's left. So one, two, three. You know, if I did negative three, then that would give us just the first element. And that's what we get. So depending on, you know, what, what length your array is and however many elements you want to pop off, you can sort of use that uh, accordingly. Another thing you might want to do is you might want to remove specific elements from an array. So it's not the how many at the end or how many at the beginning. It's I want these elements out of my array, and I know what those are. So we're going to use array diff for that. We're going to do diff equals array underscore diff. And again, we're going to pass in our array, our original array, and then we're going to pass in an array of values that we want to get rid of. So in this case, I'm going to do one and four. So again, it's values in this case. And so we're going to get rid of the value one and the value four, not the index, the value. And so if we uh, do our output here, And we're going to give this a name of array diff. And if I reload this, then what I have is, remember the original array had one, two, three, four. Now what I've got is two and three because I said I wanted one and four gone. If I change this to say I want two and four gone and I refresh, now what I have left is one and three because two and four are gone. So that's how you can pull out specific elements from an array and remove them. Last thing that I'm going to show you here then is what if you want to insert an element anywhere into an array. And so for this, we're going to use array splice. So array underscore splice. We're going to pass in our original array because that's what we want to insert something into. And then... So if we go over, let's just go ahead and take a look at array splice in the manual real quick. And our, our second parameter is offset. So this is where uh, essentially what it, it's sort of interesting. It's sort of a little different the way array splice works. Essentially what it's going to do is you can use an offset and a length to tell PHP, I want to remove this part of the array and replace it with something. So the idea is, is I could say, well, I want the offset to be two. So skip the first two elements. And then the length is, let's say, five. So the next five elements will be removed. And then I want to replace those with whatever I specify. And those, so those five elements will be taken out. And these new elements that we specify will be put in in their place. Well, what we can do is we can use that if length is zero, then what happens is no elements are actually removed. And so we can use that to insert items into our array. And so that's what we're doing here. In array splice, we're going to pass in our array. We're going to do the offset of wherever we want that to, wherever we want our new items to appear. So I'm just going to go two for right now. We're going to use zero as the length. So nothing actually gets removed. And then I'm just going to use this word inserted. And I'll do underscore P. And we will do, again, this is one that edits the original array. Okay, and so we'll do nine 
array splice. And so what should happen here is the word the word inserted should become a new element in the array and it should be inserted right after the second element that's already there. So if we come down here, we have one, two, that's the second element, and then we have our word inserted, and then three, four. And if we come down uh, and we change this to, let's say we change the offset to three, well, then it'll skip three elements and then put our inserted word in. So one, two, three, and then inserted. Okay, so that's how you can insert multiple elements into, or and you can, uh, if you want to do multiple elements, you can change this to an array. So you change that fourth parameter to an array, and it will specify, it will insert all the elements that you uh, insert that you add via that array so let's just say inserted one and inserted two and so if we refresh that now what we have is inserted one and inserted two in that same spot after that third element okay so again that's how you can inject items into your into your array so well, that's that's a number of different things that you can do in terms of adding and removing items in a bunch of different ways to arrays. So hopefully that uh, gives you some ideas of things you can do or helps you out with maybe a problem that you're having and, and helps you figure out a way around it. If so, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button on the video so that I know that it did help you. Also, if you want more, more tutorials like this, be sure to subscribe. You can subscribe uh, on YouTube. Just make sure and ring the bell when you do so you actually get notified of any videos that I have. Also, this, of course, is a podcast. So uh, if you want to subscribe to the audio version of the podcast, then you can do that at johnmorrisshow.com. That's iTunes, TuneIn, Android, all that. And finally, if you would rate and review the podcast over on iTunes, I'd appreciate that. Uh, all the details for that, you can go to johnmorrisshow.com. Just click on the start here link at the top. I'll give you module one in my PHP 101 course if you do do that. So, all right, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later.